welcome everyone to the 2020 edition of the Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Cup. We're about to bring you the final match of the St. Lowe stage, which is the last stage in this tour. We're at St. Lowe, which is a re beautiful region in the northwest of France near the beaches of Normandy. And as we said, this is the third and final stage of this tour. And this is the last match of the stepladder. We'll be seeing Daria Payo just finishing up her practice here, bowling against Cynthia Frendo Duca, who just got here by defeating Alexandria Lopez, 191 to 177. So we'll be starting our match here in just a second. Again, the culmination of 24 games of qualifying across three different sites. Daria dominated this qualifying by almost 200 pins. And we saw the ladies dominating the men here by virtue of the fact that Daria was first, Cynthia qualified second, Alexandra Lopez third, Valentin Solnier, the tough right-hander, fourth, Matthew Magro, uh, Cynthia's teammate from Malta, fifth, and Sergey Braga, sixth. So you saw that the, the ladies did very well in the qualifying and have done well in these finals. This is Cynthia's first shot. That's a jackal ghost she's throwing and doesn't quite make it up to the pocket. And there's a 3-5-6 she leaves right away. And you can imagine that there's going to be some fireworks here. You saw the pattern that was put up. It's the crown jewel pattern. It's a recreational pattern. Don't know the ratio, but we can imagine it's pretty high, pretty high scoring. 43 feet, 22.73 mils. Not a tremendous amount of oil, but a good ratio, and we can expect some good scores here. Unfortunately, Cynthia starts things off by chopping the 3-5-6 to give her nine in the opening frame. And here's our first look at Daria. That's that global volatility she's been using pretty much the whole time. And if you have not seen this young lady bowl, watch this release. Perfect at the line. Turns it up. Gets the mixer, but can't carry the seven. So she's going to, at best, spare in the first. And again, thinking we're going to have some high scores here. And there's Daria with the seven pin. See if she can pick it up. Once again, in the step ladder here in St. Lo, we saw all the guys bowl first. It was Matthew and Valentin and Sergey bowl. A, all three of them bowled, and the, only the top advanced. And that was won by Matthew Magro. He then faced Alexandra Lope, Lopez. And Alexandra won that match 192 to 185. Then she lost to Cynthia Frendo Duca 191 to 177. And here we are in the final. So here's Daria with her second shot on the left lane. Left lane has been sh proving itself just a tad drier on the right side. Let's see how Daria adjusts to it. Once again, beautiful release. Slap 10. No doubt about that after the cover of the 7-pin. So she's in with 20 in the first. And just watch this beautiful right across third arrow. And out across the oil line and back. Perfect break point. Wonderful shot there. Here's an early ball change by Cynthia. Probably looking for a little bit more reaction. That's a hypercell skid. And a wonderful ball that should give her a lot of back end. She turns up and blows the rack, already reaping benefits from that ball change. And uh, last match, we saw Alexandra working her high road. Couldn't quite get it up to carry, moved over to the phase two and had more success with that. Unfortunately, it was too, a little too late for Alexandra. Let's see how Cynthia makes out with this hypercell skid. And on the left lane, we've seen that lane be a little bit tighter, a little bit more oily compared to the right lane, the opposite of the right side, which has been drier on that left lane. Let's see what happens here with Cynthia's shot. Yeah, just a beautiful release. Will it make the corner? Fortunately, the same reaction she got from the ghost on that lane, just a little bit tighter lane. Wouldn't make the corner and comes up for the three pin. And you can see she 
Got it a little bit left into the dry. She expected it to hook. Just wouldn't make the corner. She's got to make the adjustment on that left lane. And easy pick up there. So, so Bruce Hall here, your international commentator for these matches. It's been my pleasure to uh, be able to bring you this action here on the international version. And uh, shout out to Bruno Bedone, who's done a wonderful job uh, creating the French versions of these matches and doing all the production, all the coordination. And right now, uh, Bruno is accepting entries for the 2021 version, the 2021 version of this tour. So I would urge you, if you have any interest in touring beautiful France and bowling in these great matches, uh, check it out on their Facebook page. Look at that shot by Daria. You could see that once it caught that dry and made that left turn, uh, it was lights out. Uh, on that on that turn watch this turn and blows just just rips the rack she has a release that is to die for and uses it to maximum advantage and i'm calling this from the states we've seen daria over here on the pwba tour having some success and uh great to uh, see that she got her visa issues straightened out and Things are really starting to get back to normal now relative to the bowling world. And we're very happy that includes Daria. Another great shot. Got through it beautifully. And take the late hit on the 10 pin. And no doubt about that one. Looking very strong, Daria. That was a couple of boards inside of her last shot there. But so much power. Uh, it just turns right through the oil. Comes up and carries that 10 pin. Once again, we're in St. Lo, France, near the beaches of Normandy, a beautiful area of the country. And here's Cynthia. Got that left. Turn it up. Won't make the corner. It's funny. That hypercell skid is a ball known for its finish, and she can't get it to turn the corner, leaving another 3-5-6. And she's down substantially already. She's down 34 pins already to Daria, who is taking no prisoners. She just had that mixer 7-pin in the first, and otherwise she's been perfect. And let's see if she can cover this and does. Good conversion there on the 3-5-6. Taking no chances, throwing the plastic ball in the conversion. And it looks like she's now given up on the skid and going back to the Jackal Ghost. Let's see if she moves her feet to the left a little bit. Looks like she might have. Go a little bit straighter. Need a little bit more turn into the pocket. And yes, she's definitely left on the lane. Turns it up. Still can't get it to the pocket. And there's a 3-9. Very frustrating. Boy, I if you can't relate to what Cynthia's going through, uh, you haven't bowled very much because how many times... You make the move, you make the move, you try the different ball, you do this, and nothing seems to work. Everything in this game is an experiment, and you have to just keep trying until you find that magic solution. And unfortunately for Cynthia, she's just not getting the reaction here that she's looking for. And unfortunately, that's going to put her good cover on the spare. But unfortunately, she's still looking at a 36-pin deficit. And with Daria up and locked in, that could go up from here. And we'll see what happens with these next couple of shots. Once again, the mask protocol, you're allowed to have your mask down as you make your shot. But it needs to be in place off the approach. And uh, the USB-C, even as the COVID restrictions have eased, has maintained that requirement to be fair for all bowlers throughout the length of that particular tournament. Yeah, nice and deep through the shot. Plenty of turn. Oh, gets the roller two pin. Wow, that's a, that's a break and a half. That ball was light. And by all rights, should have been some version of the two-pin combinations, but 
Watch the pin from the back. Sneak forward and take it out. Oh, Bowler's best friend there. If you've got carry like that, and you've got a wonderful release, and you've got a powerful ball, uh, and, by the way, a 46-pin lead, uh, life is pretty good about right now for Daria. So let's see what happens on this particular shot. And once again, got that in a little bit and comes in. There's the flat 10. And got that one into the oil. The last couple on that lane have been in a little bit. And I think she's probably a little bit deeper. Yeah, that's around 13, 14. That's the deepest shot she's had. Right in the oil, uh, went a little bit long. And there's the flat 10. I think we can forgive Daria a uh, flat 10 the way she's throwing it. Uh, and once again, this is going to afford her the 45-pin lead. And we're halfway through the match. So, and very good cover there on the 10-pin by Daria. So, Cynthia, it's now or never. She needs to basically chip away at this lead. Uh, larger leads have been overcome. Um, I would cite Michael Haugen against Chris Barnes. Uh, but we're certainly... Uh, Needs Cynthia needs to strike right here. She's got to make the move left, get the ball to make the turn, get it up to the pocket, and hopefully get the carry she's looking for. Gets it out, turns it up. Good shot. Gets the mixer. Won't go. There's the 10 pin. Certainly a better shot. She's definitely... Got that right up the lane, but see that it's just not making the corner. I think she needs something a little bit more aggressive yet beyond the two balls she selected just to get something that will make that corner. And of course her arm swing is flawless. She's very accurate, and it's all at that point about ball reaction. And nice good cover there on the 10 pin. And we're back to 46 pin lead for Daria Payoke in the driver's seat to take the title. Again, this being the last stage and the last championship match of the stepladder. She will be, we can certainly call her the 2020 Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Champion should she win. Got behind that one, turned it up a little. That one was even further left for the washout. Couldn't make the corner. And she looks like she misses, misses this one at the bottom a little bit. Let's watch. I think got a little ahead of herself. Yeah, I think she misses a, a rev or two on that one and uh, just couldn't get it to turn. Unfortunately, it's looking like it's not Cynthia's day we, in terms of this match. We uh, are only in the seventh frame, but I hate to tell you that she maybe, unless she can convert this and get some help from Daria. I don't believe she's going to be able to overcome uh, this deficit. And, oh, almost makes it. And uh, Daria now just going to coast really through the next, really just going to coast through the next um, few frames. And uh, I would like her chances right here. 69, that's... 61 pin lead now for Daria if she just were to go strike spare. And turns it up. And there's that 2 8. You could have argued she should have left last time. But this time she does leave. And last time she got the roll on that. I think she got a little she got a little uh, wide on it, might have spun it a little bit, a little fast. Uh, no problem. Just cover the spare, stay safe, and uh, ride the big lead to victory. You can see her, her orientation of the pin there is below her fingers. She's looking to get some earlier roll, which you often need on wet-dry type conditions such as these. You're looking to get the ball into a roll, and very nice cover on the 2-8 there. You don't really want a long skid and a big flip on a 
on a wet dry condition because it will amplify if you pull it it goes long it doesn't recover and if you swing it out to the dry it hooks too early and too much so you're trying to smooth out that reaction you want more of an arcing reaction as opposed to a really skid flippy reaction and let's see what daria can do here Beautiful form. Turns it up. Great shot. Gets the mixer. Will she get a roll? Ooh, she would have got it. A little bit of a quick rack there. Let's give her the 10 pin. She's thinking, huh? 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 You going to go? You going to go? No, not quite. That's still a pretty good shot. She got that over about the same spot and got a pretty good, some pretty good fingers into it. Just not enough to get that 10 pin out. Dari, age 27, she's a Weber alumnus, won PWBA title, and was Rookie of the Year in 2017. And, of course, has had a tremendous amount of success in bowling in Poland before she hit the national scene. And here is Cynthia staying with that ghost, trying to get that thing to climb the hill and turn the corner, not having a lot of success. It's a pull through the beak. Unfortunately, that's when you don't trust your reaction. You get it a little bit to the right, and unfortunately now, with Cynthia being able to throw a maximum of, let's figure it out, uh, 188 is the most she's going to shoot. Daria is going to be in that score in her next frame. So we can call this over, folks, and we can crown Daria Pyok as the 2020 Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Cup champion. And congratulations to Daria, well earned. She is a wonderful ambassador to the game. And she's uh, very happy to have won this tour. And I'm sure, I hope we get to see her next year on the tour. And uh, we'll see how she makes out. Good shot. Turn it up. Another bucket. Can't make that ghost turn the corner there. And fortunately, Cynthia just cannot get this ball to make the turn. I bet she wishes she could put a little 500 grit sandpaper on that ball about now. Try to get that thing to turn. But as we know, you can't alter surface during the game. And uh, we'll go from there. Good cover on the spare. Her max now 175. Just could not get the ball to turn the corner. And so far, just one strike for Alexandra, excuse me, for Cynthia, struggling to get that ball to turn the corner and climb the hill. And here's Daria in her victory lap. And there's a washout for Daria, unfortunately. Can't can't get it to make the corner. But uh, not too worried about it. As you can see, there's even with only 22 mils of oil, there's a, that long oil can make it challenging to get your ball to turn the corner. Uh, 22 is a relatively light amount of oil, uh, but there should be some some friction outside given that it's a recreational pattern and we have a we have some ratio here and give her the spare great shot on the washout there by daria and it's a lot of revs even on her spare ball and slaps that 10 pin out of there and great shot there and here she is with her Final frame. Gets it out to the dry. There's a no-drama strike. Haven't seen in a while. The first strike since the fifth frame. But not a problem. Two oh two in the ninth. 2.32 possible. And through the beak there. And 
starts the roll on the 7-2. Give her nine, so with the spare, we'll give Daria 222 as her final score. And getting the appreciation from the crowd. And no problem there. So there's Daria Payok, your 2020 Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Cup champion. And in just a second, she'll get to hoist that beautiful trophy. Once again, Bruce Hall here, your commentator for these international matches. And shout out again to Bruno Bedone, who is the producer of these beautiful telecasts. And again, the sponsor of the 2021 Bowling Promotion Cup. I would urge you to check that out on Facebook. And look at this. Oh, <laughs> she switched over to the other ball, this Heppersell skid, and that gave her a very nasty 4-6-7, uh, 4, six, seven, four six, ten split. So that didn't help either. So Daria saying, why don't you try that other ball? And she did. She said, see, this is what happened. And uh, unfortunately, Cynthia just had one of those matches where she could not match up. But she'll be back. Uh, great bowler. And uh, I see her videos all the time on Facebook. And uh, great showing by Cynthia Frendo Duca. And there's your champion, Daria Payoke. And taking a little bow there, a little victory lap. And uh, many congratulations to Daria. Well earned. And the presentation of the trophy and the fist bump. And there's the hoisting of the trophy by Daria. Congratulations. Presented by Jeremy Candy world champion kayaker and there is a proud Daria Payo congratulations Daria